As professional photographers know, we don't always get it right. In the chaotic world of wedding photography, someone creeping into the frame or stray glass left in shot can completely spoil a composition. With wedding photography in particular, it's just not possible to stage a reshoot, so you have to work with whatever images you've captured, and this is where Affinity Photo's cloning technology comes into play. Affinity Photo affords professional photographers a large amount of tolerance to clone in or out pixels in a non-destructive way. This means that if you don't like the results, you've got a safety net to start again, so you haven't made changes that you can't take back. What's more, Affinity Photo enables you to be more creative with your approach to cloning. For example, being able to rotate or flip the result of the cloning will help you create a more natural looking finish that won't appear to have been fixed in post-processing. So let's get started. And of course, Affinity Photo enables photographers to clone non-destructively. So with the image open, our first job is to head to the Layers panel and click on the Add Pixel Layer icon, which is identified by a checkerboard icon. This will appear above your background layer and be automatically selected, ready for you to work on. We're then going to head across the interface to the left-hand side and select the Clone tool. And the keyboard shortcut for this is S. Before we go any further, we're going to head to the top of the interface and find the option that says Current Layer. Click on it and change the current layer and below. And this will make sure we're working in a non-destructive way. So before we go any further, head to the top of the interface and make sure the opacity is at 100%. And also make sure that the hardness of the brush is at 0%. Across on the right hand side at the top, you can change the rotation of the brush. And also flip the brush's result, horizontally, vertically or both. But I don't need to do this at the moment. So I'm going to set my origin point as the clouds over here. I'm just going to start brushing out those pixels that I want to hide, which is the chimney. Just take this from either side, go nice and slowly. Now, don't worry too much if you make a mistake and go slightly over your target area, because we're going to solve this in just a moment. Let's do one more. Looks a bit more natural. There we go. Control and plus to zoom in. And as suspected, I've made a bit of a mistake there and gone too far over the, the guy's head. So what I'm going to do is head back over to the left-hand side of the interface and select the Erase Brush tool. And the keyboard shortcut for this is E. I'm going to zoom in even closer. And I'm just going to use the Erase Brush just to brush back in the pixels that were cloned out. Again, making sure at the top that the hardness of this brush is set to zero. And then when I zoom out, that should look a lot more natural. If you do make a mistake, just remember to press Ctrl and Z again. But once you're happy with your cloning, you can export the image by heading up to File, scroll down to Export, and you can save the file in your chosen format. There we go, thanks for watching this Affinity Photo cloning tutorial. Have fun cloning your images, and I'll see you next time.